It's all my favorite people. Oh, I would do anything for you guys, even help you hide a body. <laughs> I mean, because you do that for me, right? I'm in a little bit of trouble. You know what? Never mind. Let's get started. <laughs> Round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious, or not, for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. All right, let's get to it. Number one on the list. You know your company is going out of business when you show up to work and notice blank. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. <laughs> and next is the most pointless thing to strap a GoPro camera on. Get to voting! Next, the most pointless volunteer work would be helping the blank. It's voting time! Okay, fine. Don't help the rich. But don't go crying to them when you need a name for your new museum wing. And next, Harry Potter can do a really weird and obscure spell that allows him to blank. Ready, set, vote! Next in the hopper, a terrible name for a hotel, the Blank Inn. Float away. Next on 
deck what you might hear Big Bird say on his deathbed. That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Running out, use a safety clip if you need it. Okay, moment of truth. Starting us off, the name of a lingerie store for bears. Okay, select your favorite clip. Up, you get the weirdest image results when you search for blank. Moving on, how a drunk rabbit would embarrass himself. Time to vote. Next, a weird thing for an astronaut to say on the moon. And vote. Coming up next, a strange thing for a ghost to whisper in your ear. Put in your votes. A great way to make a dolphin mad is to blank. Okay, vote.
that's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Fill in this comic. Let's see the responses. It's round three, so you've got three medals to award. A gold, a silver, and a bronze. Make your picks. Okay, let's bring out those medals. Bronze. Here's the silver. And finally, gold. Medals are nice, but points are even nicer. So... We're done. Let's see the final scores. <laughs> hey, it's me, Schmitty. Listen, I slept on my neck funny again, but don't worry, I'm good to host the game. Ow, ow. I'm okay, I'm okay. I hope you're all using your full legal names because this game will affect your credit rating. This is round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go!
three, hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Okay, I hope you all made me proud. The first prompt is... The last place you want to see Willem Dafoe's face. <laughs> Moving on... The title of the shortest book ever written. Vote now! Next one, something you don't want to see in a lost and found box. Vote on your devices. Next on the list, a very hipster form of birth control. Okay, next one. A get well card for someone injured by a robot. It's voting time. Your next prompt is a secret Six Flags ride that only billionaires can go on. Ready, set, vote! Round one is behind us. Let's see how you scored. <laughs> On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say.
almost out of time. Use the sneak equip button if you have to. Okay, here we go. First one. What a drunk traffic reporter would say. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Santa's elves do in the off season. Put in your votes. When you're at a bar and the bartender asks you, blank. Get to voting. Dining at a sushi restaurant, you should never ever blank. Vote away. one, what Twinkies should be filled with. And vote. job that doesn't exist now, but that somebody probably had in olden times. Okay, vote. That's it for round two. Let's see those scores. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. There's just one prompt and you're all getting it. Complete the comic.
Moment of truth. Time to give out those medals. yourselves here come those medals first the bronze silver and the gold now we transform those medals into points that's the end let's see the final scoreboard
Come on, wake up! Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a thoughtful treatise on the futility of life. But it's also just stupid fun. You'll love it or my name isn't... Whoops! <laughs> Almost broke the first rule of nameless serial killers there. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini-games. If you do badly in the minigame, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! Okay, I've only got this abandoned warehouse for another hour when the next killer gets here, so let's get a move on. Alright, first question. Oh boy, I need to clean this place up. It's nothing but empty Vaseline jars and Barbie doll heads in here. You know, the usual bachelor pad. Who makes Barbie? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? Very good! Let's try another one. Is it just me, or is every sitcom on CBS absolutely hilarious? Who turned out to be the mother on the CBS sitcom, How I Met Your Mother? Surprise for you! Welcome to the killing floor. Let me ask you a question. So put a little thought into this. It's important. How can I make your dungeon experience more enjoyable? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. You don't need to write a dissertation, just hit send. Wanna know what happens when you don't answer? Lazy. Just lazy. It's early, but here are your scores. But don't get too high or too low because you're all doomed, remember? Alright, next question. What does Dwight Schrute grow on his family farm? answer is... this one? One of you is still alive! Let's go someplace fun! Hey girl! Welcome back to the killing floor! Do your stretches, mathletes! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the safe players will be playing too! And if any of them do better than you, there will be a punishment! 
Nap time. Let's go. Come on, you can do this. Nap, nap, nap. All this math fun is about to end. You got mathed! Did that sound cool? It sounded better in my head. Anyway. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's a ghosty ghost. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghosts still get to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. Ah, the scoreboard returns! This thing practically pays for itself. How about this? What doctor figures out a way to reanimate the dead in H.P. Lovecraft's reanimator? said, this one. Only a ghost got it wrong. Lame. Let's try another one. If I've learned anything from Carmen San Diego, it's that the best way to stay incognito is to wear a bright red hat and trench coat. What device helps gumshoes travel through time in the educational game Where in Time is Carmen San Diego? Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. Oh my god, if I want to- Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I like saying the word chalice. It makes me feel like someone who wears silk- Mmm, tasty. Now let's see what everyone drank. Say what? No one drank any poison? I guess I'll just have to leave these for the maid. To drink and be poisoned by. Let's try this again. I hate Mars! Stupid planet couldn't even kill Matt Damon. Which Mars rover successfully landed in Gale Crater on August 6, 2012? <laughs> said this one too easy next question oh oh sorry i was just thinking about that montage at the beginning of the movie up uh, it always makes me cry <laughs> you know that sad montage with carl and the love of his life what was her name again
And the correct answer is... This. Let's go someplace fun. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's put these away. Okay, we have a little bit of time to fill, so let me read you an excerpt from an interview Gary Sinise gave on the Tavis Smiley Show in 2011. His take on CSI New York. I have lots of friends who are wonderful actors. They like to be in my shoes, so I'm just gonna keep enjoying it. Okay, now back to the game. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? And for last place, I've got something you won't forget. Death. Which I guess you would forget, because you're dead. This was the pattern, you silly gooses. How close did you get? It looked like you forgot what was at stake. Shoot, I forgot to pick up the coffee filters. Sorry, I don't know why that popped into my head. I should probably run out after I'm done with you. Here's another one. Which mnemonic device could I use to remember the order of the Great Lakes going west to east? And the correct answer is... This one? I want to show you something. It's time for some finger cutting. I think you'll get the point soon enough. I regret that joke the second I said it. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. There's no wrong answer. Or right answer. Ah! Have at it. Thanks for the finger, food. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't eat them. I know where they've been. All right, next question. Which food is fermented to make the Japanese dish miso? Time. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It was really hard to find good cues to cut out. Oh, and all these other players get to play along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. Do it now. The letters don't have to touch each other. And remember to press submit when you're done. Ooh, let's
Let's see what you did there. Let's see if anyone beat you. It's pretty clear that a few people did better than you. It's not just that everybody ganged up on you, it's that they were smiling while they were doing it. Okay guys, I'm gonna say to you what I said to my grandmother. I did not expect you to live this long. We gotta speed this up. It's sudden death time. Or should I say, sudden death time. That's why you're all gonna take turns spinning the loser wheel. Let's go in order, starting with the least money. Don't get all conscientious objector on me now. Spin, my lovely... Spin! Super lucky! This really puts pressure on the next spinner, don't you think? Moving on! Less stalling and more spinning. I just love it when she spins. You'll die as you lived, a slave to random chance. <laughs> just one of you left. We did it, everyone. Now we can finally go to the final round. Took long enough. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Sausages. Tap on each answer that fits, then press Submit. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Scout ranks. Can you stay out of the shadows? Shades of purple. Get it, you 
it well. The darkness approaches. Letters in the Greek alphabet.
Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master, and my mind is a lethal weapon. Go ahead, try and attack my mind. I- Ouch! Ouch! What? I wasn't ready! I have moved you over here to T-Shirt Island to take part in a T-Shirt battle to the dead. Also, the Fire Spirits are having this party later. Everyone's bringing a date, so I thought one of you... Uh, forget it, I'm kidding. Let's just do the tournament. Every epic tale starts somewhere. Yours begins here, at the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. You may draw anything that pleases you. If you need an idea, use the suggestion button. I promise I'm not judging you. Yet. Get your drawing fingers wiggling. It's time to draw. Seconds remain. Excellent. This time, show me something different. Remember to use the suggestion button if you need an idea. Begin your second drawings. Make haste before time runs out! Last drawing, let's get weird with it! Begin!
Remember, short, hurry up and finish already! You show promise, most of you. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Something short and snappy like you might see on a t-shirt. And don't forget that suggestion button if you're stumped. Go! Well, I know that's not your best material. Write another! Not for decoration, finish quickly! Nice hustle, let's find out if it was worth it. Your training is at an end. Now take note of your device. Select one drawing and one slogan to create the perfect t-shirt combination. And I do mean perfect. Wonderful! The battlefield calls! Let the tournament begin! Gauntlet 1 Versus Fight! And by fight, I mean enter your votes on your device. A new challenger appears. Battle! Challenger appears. Engage one another in violence. The tie goes to the defender. A new challenger appears. Battle. The defending champion wins ties. Bad luck for you, new mate. Oh, 
new challenger appears. Fight! What if it isn't a winner? I think we could all use a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Really put your back into it. Go! Time runs out! And right! The second gauntlet is upon us, and the withered hand of Lady Luck has shuffled your drawings and slogans. Dream up something special. Starting things off with a tie, not very dramatic. Let's just say this one wins. Versus... Attack! A new challenger appears. I want you to fight.
The reigning champion wins ties. Next time, get more votes. Versus. Engage in an altercation. A new challenger appears. Attack! Winners! So it's come to this, the final gauntlet. Only the strongest shirts from the previous rounds will compete, and only one will come out alive. Versus... Fight for me, baby. Fight! Fight each other! I think we have the centerpiece for my fall line.